do you know where this sets? So obviously it's a literal question because they're seeing the sun set. Yeah. I replied, Allah and his, and his apostle know better. He said, it sets in the spring of warm water, Hamia. So I'm giving you evidence. Yeah. You're giving me conjecture. Yeah, so that proves? That proves that Muhammad, because that's the so knowledge. The is wrong. Look, I'm saying God would not say that. It, doesn't mean I'm putting it demonstrates the point that there was no point of Allah sending the Quran as a linguistic miracle in Arabic because the people who you send it to couldn't even fully understand it and the people who live late... Wait, so, let me so just finish my point. But this is what my question would be. If your interpretation was right, then you could have reason to believe that people just misunderstand and it's from God. But if I was right, would you agree that this can't be from God? If I was right? Okay. With the belief and the practice of Islam. Well, but that's where we follow them. We don't follow them in every aspect, of, like in every aspect of their life, in their belief or whatever. Yeah, we follow them in their okay. practicing the religion. Yeah, how they pray. Right. How religious they were. Yeah, yeah. And everything they do. Yeah. When we have something we argue about or we we debate or we try to conclude something, mm. we go back to them. Mm. We see all the things, I will try to include something out of it. Yeah. You know mm -hmm. So the argument about putting the, uh, the five prayers on the same level mm -hmm. with the argument of the sun where it does it set, mm -hmm. doesn't make any sense. Because if, if, if that verse doesn't exist in Quran, mm -hmm. will it add anything to the, to the belief? Which Take verse? Of, Which verse? Of, about the sun where it sits. Well, it would. No, no. Let's be clear. Like, yeah, I would, I, would, I would still be Muslim. Yeah, but I would, I would still pray five times. Yeah, that's. I would practice yeah, the same way. Yeah, but that's that's up to you, your personal choice. But the thing is, it would then prove that this book cannot be from God, because God. Why? Because, because I'll tell you why it does. If you read it, forget what other people say. Yes. Imagine the, the, uh, the Quran is revealed today. So revealed today. Yes. Okay. And you read this verse. What do you understand from the verse? So if I read with the science that we know forget today, forget everything says. It's been said before. Yeah, but and I'm the saying. Quran is being revealed yeah, today. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying if with science and today. You say someone to you, the sun sets in, right. in the ocean. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So I'm saying with the science we know, where we know the sun's in in, in orbit in space. And if I saw the Quran was, if you if you came and said this is what God revealed to me, let's just say you have revealed the Quran, and yeah. you said you got to the verse and you said this, God said the sun sets in a, a spring of water, I would reject you as a messenger from God because I know that science says I can see the sun here and I know it doesn't go into a pool. Now, so, okay, what the word is being used in the Quran? Hemia. Wajat. Defined. He find it yes. sitting somewhere. Yes. When you read the Quran, yes. you will see the same word yes. is being used in yes. different places, right. which explains it's all talking about the point of view yes. of the person who's talking. Right. But then this is so it does so it does it like you, so you can't reject it because so, it's talking about that. The, uh, Forget that. Yeah, but I'll give you even from the Quran. Saying, the people who were by the pool, where were they then? Did they what did he perceive them to be near near the pool as well, or were they there? Because you said he it appeared to him. He said the whole the story is like he he reached yes. a certain place. Yes. So you're saying where he sun, found the sunset. Right. So the people it. that were near it, because the verse talks about the people. Where were they? With him. So you're saying in the distance. I'll give you an example. So I'll try to explain like, to you. Like so I can, let's say let me just say like that, like, like that building. Let's say that's this where the sun goes. You're saying then he saw people near that building and so he assumed that the sun goes down and there's people near there as well. I mean like I'm walking from here to Brighton and when I reach the beach of the Brighton, of Brighton yes. where people are, yeah. the sun was sitting in the ocean. Mm -hmm. But that again, the same thing. but that but as I say, all my, my trying to my trying to say the understanding of certain verses like that, mm -hmm. it talks about the universe, yeah, is beyond the understanding because they will be trying to understand within their own knowledge. Yes, but the thing it is, doesn't have to do anything with fasting or practicing or prayers or the care or yes. the things that is deals with the daily life. Yeah, but this is my question, and that's why one Tabari quotes. Ibn Abbas. Who was Ibn Abbas? Yeah, he was one of his companions. And what was his knowledge of the Quran? A lot. 
the better than everyone else. Yeah. So yeah. basically, you're saying this guy is an idiot That's, as well. He's not an idiot. You, put, but, uh, you, know the book, you know the book contains contains story about the about the old people. Yeah, yeah. Because listen to my it point. Contains story about that. Yeah, but listen future. to my point. You're Doesn't saying he knows everything. those. Yeah, but you're saying those people couldn't understand a simple concept such as he perceived it. Such a simple phrase. Because you're saying. Oh, it's just he perceived it. So you're telling me for 300 years, no one was smart I enough. The, I don't know the numbers or there is... Okay, the, oh, that's yeah. right. Fair if enough. There is anyone okay, who said fair that enough. Because no you, you, you don't know the details. I did, but I did research. But I'll put, I'll put it this way. So you're telling me Ibn Abbas, who had such a great understanding of the Quran, couldn't understand a simple phrase that it was what he perceived. So he's telling people, oh, it actually goes in the it's spring. But actually, he should have just used his brain. So the Roman and the Greek at the time, they were... The famous philosophers and the famous, they were the idiots. The Romans, at, why? Because all, they, they reached a level of intelligence yeah. and they created great things. Yeah. But, but this they is, have mixed conceptions of many things. Yeah. It was beyond their knowledge. Yeah. Does it mean they are, they are stupid? It means that no, they're. Re yeah. Does it, okay. Does no, but. Call, no, no, but. They call, call them idiots. Yeah. Does, does that mean they are idiots? It doesn't mean they are idiots. No, but this is, I'll tell you why my, uh, my, what I said is different. Because we're saying that with the Romans and the Greeks, they're observing something, and let's say it's just the orbit or whatever, and they're just accounting for what they see. The difference is we're talking about a Quran that was sent to some people in their language that they understood. And these people couldn't even understand a basic. It's like me, you saying it's something. It's, it's like not, it's, not it's like you saying to it's me. Okay, it's let me give basic. you an example. Because like, let me. I'll give you an example. If you at the time, let me give you an example. If you at the time, you can easily believe that. I'll give you an example. We have a phrase called "killing two birds with one stone." That's a very English phrase or a Western phrase. Now, if you ask me what that meant, and I said I have the best understanding of the English language, and you ask me what that meant, and I said it means that you get a stone and kill two birds at the same time. I would be an idiot because that's not what the meaning is. And for something so simple that everyone knows, it's no, like a very simple... At the time, you didn't know. Yeah, but this is what I'm saying. No, 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 because that's what you need to put... Yeah, but you, I'm you saying... The two, two of the things together. Yeah, but I'm saying to, the word, you're saying the wahaja. Okay. What, the word what, uh, wahaja. 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 Found. So, yeah, right. I found it So you're saying somewhere. they couldn't even understand the word I'll tell you wah, what. wahaja. I'll tell you what. The reason why you say that, yes. because... Okay, let's go back. Mm. That if the if the Quran is revealed today, yeah, and until that moment, we didn't know yeah. that the sun is that we orbit around the sun and all the knowledge we have. Yeah. how you understand it? I would understand it based on the language, because remember the Quran. No, no, no. But be honest. Yeah, imagine the Quran is revealed today. Yeah, and you have no signs available yes. to us, and we just see. Sun comes from the east yeah. and sits on the uh, on the west. Yeah. We have no knowledge of the of the sun, the how yeah. it orbits, and all this thing. Yeah. How you really understand it? The Egypt understand. But this is the uh, thing. And you read the verse. Yeah. The Egypt understand what? Well. Yeah. It sits somewhere. Yeah. But this is the thing. The Quran isn't supposed to be. Ba yeah. The Quran is not supposed to be understood on science. It's supposed to be understood no, 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 no. on what it communicates. No. No. Yes. I told you. Mm. That's why the book is for all time. There's certain verse for people at the time of Muhammad to understand, mm. and they believe is a miracle. Mm -hmm. And there's certain verse when the times run, people will find something in the Quran at their time mm. that matches with what, what they scientifically found, mm. and will make them believe it's the right, it's the right book. That okay. doesn't mean the earlier you were stupid and you didn't understand. They just understood it within their own knowledge. Right. Uh, did you try what I think it's safe? Yeah. Because that's the reason why uh, I yeah. ask you, if the Quran, the Quran is revealed today and you have knowledge of any science, you would understand it the same way as it did. Yeah, but this is why I'll prove you wrong. Because um, because who has the best understanding of the Quran? It's the Prophet, right? Yeah? Well, you, okay, so... Because we'll go to the Hadith. Okay, so this is from Abu Sunan Abu Dawood, and here's Sahih in chain. Okay, when it comes to hadith, it's debatable. Yeah, but look, 
if even it's even if but I'm giving you evidence anyway. Okay. You can you don't have Go to accept on. it, but yeah. it says I was nab narrated Abu Dhar. I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah. He was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. Okay. So this is that's not this is not that is not actual like this. Uh, I said to like this can be debatable with someone saying what? Something. Why I wouldn't say to you? Do you know do you know where the sun sets? And you were like, no, where? Oh, it sets. I'm explaining to you literally what's happening. What so did he, he say in the hadith? It says, I was sitting behind the messenger of Allah who was riding a donkey while the sun was setting. He asked, do you know where this sets? So obviously it's a literal question because they're seeing the sunset. Yeah. I replied, Allah and his, and his apostle know better. He said, it sets in a spring of warm water, Hamia. Not that it per it's perceived, that's why it said, and that's the same word that's used in the Quran. Yeah, but I, but I read there's a lot of people, they, they weak in this hadith, they say it's not, it's not right hadith. Well, I'm showing you, Sahih, this is not a, a Christian website, it's a, a Muslim website. Okay, well, so, when, so when, when it comes to scholarship in Muslims, they mention everything. Yeah, but all I'm... Even if we agree or disagree, we yeah, just mention what, everything. Again, I'm giving you evidence, because you're, you're giving me what you believe. I'm giving you what I can prove. You've not proven to me anything. Yeah, so what that lead us to? Because you're you're operating on conjecture. Yeah, so what's your conclusion? So my conclusion is, if we're looking at the information objectively, because I've given you a hadith where he says, where does the sun set? Then I've gone to the scholars for the first 300 years, looked at the discussions and how they interpreted it, and they've given a very literal understanding. Your argument is, well, yeah, they probably didn't understand the Quran, and you're making excuses. As an objective person, that's why I said, give me anyone, and I'll say to Abbas, anyone, any scholar, any person of knowledge who gave a third opinion that it was from his perception, because they all seem to understand that it was literal. Because even if it's just discussing the meaning of the terms, someone would have said, actually, no, do you know what? One of the discussions would have been, actually, it's from his perception. Then there's three discussions that are happening. But from what we look at the research, it's only two. So therefore, as an independent, objective person, I can say this can't be from God because God wouldn't say that. As a Muslim, you're then bound to then find and make an excuse without but, evidence. But, but I'm given evidence. But I don't understand. Like when you when you read all the, the scholars said about that, they all ask you, and they even went to God. Yeah. Bar, yeah. To ask him. Yeah. But if that hadith exists and the, and the prophet said that, well, none of them mention it. Yeah, because obviously, but I've given you a hadith where the... Yeah, but maybe he hadn't heard, I don't know, I can't, I can't give an yeah, opinion so because about, conject... So you talk about one, more, only one narrative? No. To try to prove your point? No, I'd give you, because look, I'll go back to Tabari. Uh, so here's Tabari, here's the English, and here's the Arabic, whichever you prefer. So he's given many different opinions and with the chain, 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 chain. It's like quite a lot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. I'm giving you evidence. Yeah. You're giving me conjecture. Yeah, so that proves? That proves that Muhammad, because at the so knowledge- the Quran is wrong. Look, I'm saying God would not say that. So therefore, because we have to understand if someone is from God and that the message is divine, if the person was pretending to be a prophet, then we would understand that they would say things that go against the real world. If you believe, it's like, if if I don't want to believe this bag is red, I will keep saying it's black until I'm, saying. you know what I'm saying? So that's what I'm saying. If we look at it objectively, and that's why I'm even not referring to my own opinion, I'm going to look at the scholars, the early scholars, because what we should logically think is the people who it was revealed to in their language had the best understanding of that language. No one really speaks classical Arabic yeah, anymore. Because you understand it linguistically, you yes. understood what it says. Yes. Because they, have, they didn't have the knowledge. Yeah, but they should understand the only, it linguistically. The only archive which is, you can use, that, that hadith. Yeah. Which is, I'm saying, is a lot of people say it's not. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying now. Hadith. Because I've given you, you, you would have to give me an example, because I've given you. I didn't have to give you an example. Yeah, but. I'm giving you evidence. You're just telling What's me the opinion. Evidence? I'm give. I gave you the hadith, with with uh, showing it was Sahih and Chain. You're saying, well, some people disagree. What people? Give me the, give me the names. 
it was people. You said people disagree about the hadith, so what? give me the names of the people. That's good, but I can't find it. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. I can't find it to you. But that's what I'm saying. This, look at the difference in what we're presenting. Yeah. I'm presenting evidence. You're saying, well, there's some people that disagree. Lack of, like, lack of evidence doesn't mean it doesn't exist. Like, yeah, I know, I know. But I'm just saying, based on what we're discussing now, we'd have to go on the evidence. And if, if you're here next week and you find out something, you can always come back and say, look, this is what I found. Whatever do you understood about houses, but at the end... But okay, this is what my question would be. So it's all about if this is wrong and... Yeah, okay, this is what my question would be. So the Quran is wrong and, but the this, and Muhammad but, is false But prophet. this is what my question would be. If your interpretation was right, then you could have reason to believe that people just misunderstood and it's from God. But if I was right, would you agree that this can't be from God? If I was right? Okay. So that's, that isn't what we're arguing, essentially. Yeah, yeah, but as I said to you, like when, when the Quran said this, when the, when the angels see go to the sky, they do it in the 50,000 days of our days. Yeah. Uh, something like that. Mm. Do they understand it at that time? If, if people at that time would have the conversation and mm. say this is wrong because it's not from God, because they didn't reach that level of knowledge to prove what the Quran says. In 100 years, we might be proved to be wrong. Uh, something we don't know. Well, but that's the thing. If the no, that's not the thing. Because when it comes to science, yes. it's always changing. Yes. Whoever is right now can be wrong. Yes. Later, I can, it can that, prove me that, right. Exactly. Me but that's what I'm saying. But some things in so, science so we know, this, like this the a, sun. That's the thing. Okay. The only thing you can really use, mm. that is that it doesn't rely on science. Right. The, that you prove is wrong. Mm. And once you prove that it's wrong. Right. And I'll, I'll give you another then, example. The people of Juj and Majuj. Yeah. They're apparently somewhere on this planet behind metal gates, right? No, it's not metal gates. What is it? An iron wall. That's what the Quran says. Uh, there was an iron wall, they're stuck behind the iron gate. Yeah. Now we have images of the entire universe, Google Maps and whatnot. And we cannot locate this anywhere. And two, if I'm we... So, I think I had two... Ago, that someone they found, found it. No, they found an island that no one knew about. An it. island? Yeah. But the Quran doesn't say it was an island. It says there was a no, mountain no, 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 and no, behind okay. the mountain. So that mountain can be on the island. But I'm saying this, we can't see it. We haven't so, seen everything on Earth. What? There's certain places that no one, no one, no, no one reached yet. Okay. No so, one have knowledge about so it. So you're telling me you believe for thousands of years that people who are stuck under a mountain... When it comes to that thing... Yes. It's like... Does that make sense to you though? That you humans need air, vegetation, food, and these people are somehow living underground, no light, and they're humans. There's no vegetation underground. For the same way, I believe, there's people who was in a cave and they pop, God put them into sleep for, for three, four hundred years, mm. and then they woke up in a different era mm. so they can find peace. Mm -hmm. I can't believe this. So my question was... Then, the story as well in the Bible? No, no, we don't. The Seven time. Sleepers. It was taken from Christian tradition, but yeah, that's yeah, not... Yeah, it's a, kind of a thing, but it was a miracle. Why do I... Should, why do I need to... It's the same way I believe that Jesus can bring people from this. Yeah. The same way I believe... But that yeah. goes to my question, where... Why can't we see these giant... No, 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 no. This is cool to die. There's something beyond our knowledge that's like... You accept it by faith. Mm -hmm. You accept Jesus by faith. Mm -hmm. He can do miracles. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Your Russia doesn't agree with it. No, but this is different. No, no, no. no. Your Russia, a city. Your Russia doesn't agree with it, but you take it by faith. Mm -hmm. Because your faith is strong. Yeah. You believe if God says so, yeah. then I don't understand it how and where and how it is. Yeah. But that's the same way you keep talking about the Trinity. You can't read, because every time after, so we don't really understand, we will try our best. Yeah, but it's hard to explain because yeah. it's beyond your knowledge. Yeah, but there's a difference. The so Trinity why? is metaphysics. Is not reality we understand. Reality we understand is like physics. So when there's a reality, when someone when dies, when yeah, someone but when, is dead, is dead. but when someone says there's a structure on this planet where there's people and we should be able to find that structure, that's because but if, okay. But if God doesn't want you, to. does the Quran say that God doesn't want you to? I'm asking a question. But that's what I'm saying. Let's not no, go into no, hypotheticals. No, no, I'll say because yeah, because in our belief. Mm. From, her, from scholars on history, they've been kept that way to stay until the end of the, uh, until the, end of the days. So, so they're not allowed to come up. 
So if this is God's will, mm. for them to come out, mm -hmm. can God do that or not? And, and we can't find them if, with all the technology we have. Yeah, but this we is, won't be able to do it if yeah, God doesn't is, want to. Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. All thing, we believe all things are possible unto God, right? Exactly. But then we're going into conjecture. That's why I'm asking for evidence. Yeah. So, because even, okay, even if we just scan that, we still go back yeah, so to the full setting. No, no, okay. You have the Bible that yeah. says that Jesus brings people from this. Right. Did you see that? I wasn't alive then, but this is the you thing. You have a proof for it. But, uh, but this someone, okay, when someone comes to you, the Holy Spirit came yeah, to you. But there were, Wait, what's the yeah, but there were... You are a Christian, you say, yeah, the Holy Spirit came to me. Yeah. Can you prove it? Or Angel Gibral came to me. Okay, no, no, no. I'm just thinking with the whole, with the same term. You are Christian yeah, news. That's metaphysical. With the Holy Spirit. That's different. Because that's a metaphysical reality. Yeah. You're talking about... Uh, Physical reality. Exactly. Which is a structure. So that you keep going to uh, things that yeah, can't but be if, seen, if, but if that God, Yeah, but even if it's physical, yeah, and it's not metaphorically, if this is if this is God's will, yeah, yeah, but that's what I'm saying. All things are possible. I'll give you an example. Do you believe in jinn? Uh, uh, we believe in demons. Yes. Do, you, do you see them? Again, they they have metaphysical reality. No, they exist. Yeah, no, but you can't see them. They exist. Yeah. Do they exist or not? Yeah, they be, we believe they exist. They exist. Yes. Can you see them? No. With all the technology you have? Huh? With all the technology we have. Can you see them? But that's what I'm saying. There's Why a you? difference between metaphysical reality no, no, no. and physical well, reality. Do you know the nature of these people? Yeah, but if you can't see it, it means it's metaphysical. I'm thinking, do you know the nature of your Juju and Majuj? It says they're just normal people. They didn't say they're normal people. Yeah. It doesn't say, it doesn't, it doesn't talk about the nature. Okay. Does it think there is yeah, Juju and Majuj? Yeah. But never Does it talk so. about the, the iron gates? That's physical. Say. Okay, there's an iron gate somewhere. All I'm saying is that mm. their nature mm. is more miserable for all. Okay. Same, so it can be mm. any any creation, mm. same as the jinn and demons, as you believe, that we still can't see them. Right. But again, we're talking about physical and metaphysical. But we'll go back to the, the yeah, original I mean, top point. Like, we'll go back to the with. original point of the sun setting in the murky water. Yeah. Now, as I said, when we look at the first 300 years of the scholars and what their discussions were it was never it was from his perception so therefore because he Tabari even names the areas so that's why I'm saying because they understand it within their own knowledge yeah but the Quran was supposed and to be meant to understood through the linguistics not through their own knowledge no that's why the Quran is for all time the more people evolve the more the knowledge they get the more they understand so what was the point of then the Quran being a linguistic uh, miracle because if people are coming when you look at people later on they rely on chains of narration and people the scholars from before so it means that you're just picking and choosing when you accept and reject the, the, the opinions of scholars because most people like from from now of, so if someone wants to understand the verse in the Quran you go to the Sunnah or you look at the opinion Not of the every scholars single verse. No. First, first to understand the Quran, we ex Quran explain the Quran. Plus, we go to the teaching of Prophet Muhammad, plus the companion, plus, plus, plus. Yes, thank yes. you. And because we're going to conclude, but yes. I showed him from Tabari, yes. where he showed the opinions of some of, some of the companions. Yes. And they just. I'll just give you a quick. If you know about the belief itself. No, yeah, no. yeah, but he know, just said you go to the companions. Well, yeah, right? you know, no, 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 wait. If you if you read the Tabari, Tabari <laughs> said it clearly. Mm -hmm. He is collector of information. Whatever he put, yes. he didn't say to you by yourself. You go to see if it's Sahih, the Hadith, whatever. If it's Sahih or not. That does not mean everything is in Tabari is Sahih. We not yes. consider it is Sahih. But this is the thing. I'll, yes. I'm going to conclude very quickly. Yes. Yes. This is from Tabari. Yes. And his Arabic. Yes. So his conclusion, because he's talking about the understanding yes. of the verse. Yes. So he quotes Ibn Abbas a lot of all, and he gives the chains as well. And he says. In, in my opinion, in, in my mind, the correct opinion is to say they are both popular readings in the land, and each one has a correct, each one has a correctness about it and understandable meaning, and neither contradicts the other. For it is possible that the sun sets in a hot spring and has mud and sludge. So a reader who uses hot spring is describing the temperature, and the reader who uses muddy spring is describing that it has mud and sludge. Both versions have been narrated to us. He didn't say there's a third version. Listen, listen, listen. He described, he described in the place, he mm. didn't describe in that sun sit there, literally sit there. He does. Because, no, 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 no,
I'll give you look. Okay. Read, so let me read. Let me read the Arabic word first. Where, where is it? Where is it? So we'll quit, uh, okay. we'll I'll wrap up after this. Last time, I, I, you, when you bring uh, we, when you bring the hadith about the Prophet Muhammad yeah. Sallam, I proved to you that I, I, the hadith is weak. Read the. I prove it to no, you. No, you didn't weak. prove it's weak. Yes, it's it Sahih in chain. I did. It's Sahih in chain. Where is Sahih Metan? Anyway, let's go to... Where is Sahih we're gonna Metan? We're, we're, no, no, I'm saying, where is Sahih read, Metan? Where you're jumping, Metan? you're jumping from... I'm not so, jumping. No, wait, I'm wait, jumping. I'm talking about the same topic. Yeah, but wait, I'm talking... Yeah, but wait. I'm talking... Brother, brother. Yeah, but wait. Brother, leave it. Can you prove to me? Can you prove to me Sahih Metan? Wait, 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 read this you know first. We, you know when read you say Hadith Sahih? Read this first. You know when is Hadith Sahih, what you say? Don't jump. When is Hadith Sahih? You're talking about the same. Yeah, but is I said read hadith? this first. Is no, it's it's same not, hadith? it's not about the hadith. His, his opinion of, of Tabari. Read, okay. read, you said you're going to read what it says. Have you read it? I did did you opinion. say you're going to read? You, you sit to me. Okay. You, you sit to you, me. You said. You sit to me. You said, you sit to me. He doesn't want to read. Tabari. Wait. Did you say. I'm talking about the did hadith. Did you say. Did you say you were going to read? Did you, did I said. Answer my question. Can you tell me. Answer my question. Did you say you were going to read this? What are the conditions? Did you say you were going to read this? Did you say you were going to read this? You know the way he didn't want to answer. Did he say he was going to read it? You know why he didn't want to answer. You know why he didn't want to answer. Because he's a good ignorant. No. He can't prove nothing. When it came to hadith. Mm -hmm. You said to me, mm -hmm. can you prove it's not right? And mm -hmm. I said to you, I'll have to do my research. Yes. So now it's time for you. Yes, to answer me about the hadith. What, what was because I Because when he said, no. when he said, he said see, they see this. This, this is why chain. I'm going to. But this, must be I'm gonna, hadith. I'm going to conclude. I'm going to conclude, no, 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 gonna conclude the, the discussion. Hadith must be sahih in because, the Latin. Because first the we were, text, the first thing I brought up. But we know the hadith in the Latin is weak. That's why he was using it. The first thing I brought up was Tabari, not the hadith. So I'm tabari, saying, tabari, I'm I, saying I first, you, wait, I explained wait, to you, I explained to you already, if you, you, Tabari, you he cannot, said not everything listen, what is in my book listen, is Sahih. Listen, that means, you say, I will not take Tabari, this, but I take the Hadith. Okay. Go ahead. Again. Where is Hadith Sahih in the want, Metan? If you want to go engage ahead. in this co go ahead, conversation, go ahead. you cannot come and go dictate ahead. what you want to discuss. What I'm discussing Tabari first. If you wanted, wait, wait, no, no, because when he came, no, no, wait, 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 no, 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 when, when he came, I asked him about Tabari. Did he explain Hadith and when I, when, I, hold on, what, what, what did I show him first? Wait, no, if you're honest, you and me, yes, but wait, if you're honest, as well, you and me, if you're, yes, but wait, 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 whatever he said, it doesn't mean anything, that's why, no, listen, if you grow up that, if you're honest, what was the first thing I showed him? Tabari, right? I don't care about what you showed him. No, no, I'm saying, that's if I'm talking point. about Tabari no, first... No, no, he said point. Tabari, no, he talked no, no, about no, no, all no, no, the opinion okay. of the companion. Not, this is the I'm thing. Not this you is the thing. Tabari, he talked I'm about all the companion. I'm saying we can discuss the hadith. You want to discuss but I'm the hadith, first, yes or no? Yeah, want to discuss. What did he say to me about the hadith? What did I Forget say? Forget what yes. I discussed. Yeah, but this is the thing. Forget what I discussed about Yeah, but this is the thing. Yeah. I first when it comes wanted to discuss to Tabari. No, you we discussed we, with him the hadith. Did no, no, but this is the thing. We, we, were, we were about to conclude. He no, came no, in no, no. and I asked him about Tabari. No, 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 no. Now he jumped into the hadith. I answered Tabari. Yeah, this is the main I thing. Said, Tabari. I answered well, the main thing. Tabari. I said to you, no Tabari. I said, I said, we agreed about the understanding. And then we just found there's no way around it. Then you brought up the hadith. Yes. And I said to you, honestly, I don't have the answer. Yes. Then he came what with did, the answer. What, what was his answer? About the hadith. What, did his, what was his answer? Whatever, we didn't let him answer. I know what he said. It's, it's not hadith. He said it's not authentic. You didn't let him answer because I, you were just taking with something said, else. He said, I'll tell you why. We've had a discussion before. But why didn't you let him say it when he was Be here? Because you can't come in and interject. Because, we were, let, we were, let, let me explain, let me, let me, let me explain to you. I've had this discussion with him before about the hadith and he says it's not authentic. Yeah. He has not given me any criteria to say why it's not authentic. But he didn't he didn't do that. But I've, again, I've had a discussion with him yeah, before. He's was, he was asking before. me the question, is it Sahih in Matin or whatever? Yeah, Matin, yeah. Yes. I've shown you it's Sahih in Chain. Yeah. So that means all the reporters are, of, um, are authentic because he's trying to say that but, so it doesn't mean it's sahih, it has to be sahih in both the, of them. If the, if, the, if the chain is sahih, yeah. the, the content of the, uh, the of the hadith cannot be false. 
But, but, but that's not the criteria. That's, what the, argu he used. that's the argument he's no, making. No, no, but that's not the criteria. Yeah, but that's what I'm to, saying. That's why. To be, to yeah, but this is why. Authentic. This is why you this had to. This is why I wanted to start first with Tabari and then go to the Hadith. Yeah, yeah, but. So we had a criteria. Because I wanted to break down his point. That's why I wanted to start first there and then go into the hadith. Okay, but he doesn't want to go. He he started reading and he stopped. Because Why? Because doesn't add anything. Oh, the, again, the, the, how do we argument. how do we understand in like history through information? Information has to be passed down from people or reliable people. And yeah, when, when it talks about right, and I gave you when it talks about facts. Right, and I'm get, and I, I'm sure you hear when I gave a quote from people like Ibn Taymiyyah who quoted about the reliability of um, of Tabari and I gave other, other opinions because I'm not giving my opinion I'm using evidence every time he comes or you you're giving me your opinion I know you may not have the evidence at hand but I'm arguing from evidence and I want to see evidence because that's how we have an academic conversation this is very weak argument to use to to make to, uh, to make the Quran or the Quran no, because I, let's talk about ghaib, which is something we didn't know. Yep, yeah, and that leads us to that. No, because I because you, you don't know it now. You mean you, it you agreed true. with me. If that verse was my understand was true, the Quran cannot be from God. That's why it is very the, about the sunset and the spring of water. You agreed that if your uh, interpretation was correct, no problem. But you agreed if my if I, what I was saying was correct, then the Quran can't be from God. That's why it's a very important discussion you, point. No, as a prophet. I'm saying... You, no, if you, you continue I asked, saying that... Yeah, I'm asking, like, yeah, I said to you, but, if, if my interpretation of what I'm arguing, yeah, if the Quran literally... I'll, I'll say it again. Okay, I'm saying, if the Quran was talking about his viewpoint, then your point is, your argument is valid. If my argument is that the Quran literally says the sun sets in the pool of water and if that was, if what I'm saying is true then you would have to agree that the Quran cannot be from God because if, I'm saying if my no, argument is I true that didn't mean that. So, so you're saying that the, if the Quran does literally mean that the Quran is still true and from God Yeah, because, because we at that moment we didn't have the whole knowledge Listen to what, I'm not, I'm not saying that I'm saying if my interpretation of the verse is what the Quran is actually communicating i'm not saying what it so we're saying we're discussing what it could mean right you're saying at the time people's understanding wasn't properly that's your argument my argument is that is the proper understanding so i'm saying if your interpretation is true fair enough if my argument is true then that would you would have to agree that the quran cannot be from god not whether people i'm not arguing whether people understood it because that's Why, your argument yeah but your opinion your interpretation yeah but listen to, no, i'm not has, yeah, right has now yeah but the, yeah but right, yeah but that's what i'm saying i'm saying if what i was saying was true you would have to agree that it couldn't be from god but, but, yeah, but just like, i'm not I, i'm not listen to what i'm my point very simple i'm not saying i'm for the sake of argument right now i'm not saying whether i'm right or wrong i'm saying we both have you have argument a that science that they, that they didn't understand at the time my argument B is that no this is what the Quran means so your argument no, A my argument is either yes did you understand it well yes or until now we wouldn't have the knowledge to prove your, your understanding is right but I'm saying if my argument not, no, yeah but yes but that's what I'm saying but my the argument question. is if the understanding of Tabari was right then that would prove the Quran is not from God. They didn't understand. He just like, Listen to what I said. I said if my argument that his understanding was right, my hypothesis is, that the sun literally set in a pool of water, then we would have to say that the Quran is not from God. Because that's my argument. Why? Because we know based on science the sun doesn't actually set in a pool of water. Yeah, but until now we still we still. Have can be so you're saying are you it, saying it can be metaphoric yeah but listen to what i'm saying yeah, it, 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 it can be metaphoric yeah but listen, something we don't understand we're gonna, we're gonna find later listen to that's your argument i'm saying my argument is if it is literal what the quran is saying then we would have to conclude that's my argument your argument is based on how understanding i'm saying oh fair enough but i'm saying my argument is if it is literal and we understand 
that's what it's communicating, then we would have to say that it's not from God. No, that's the way So how can the sun... Because, because if you say it's literally... Yes. We talk about something about beyond our knowledge. Does the sun? Where, where's still, the sun? We're still figuring out. Where's? So are you saying we don't? Are you saying we don't know where the sun is? We know where the sun is. Right. So that means again. Listen to my my statement is very simple. It's if what I'm arguing is true. Yeah, yeah. But my, my your argument is based on interpretation and understanding. For me, it was like. Yeah, I'm that, not gonna say is even. Listen, if, listen. I, I understand yeah, what you're trying to yeah, say. Yeah, but listen to me. I can say. If you, what you were saying is true, fair enough, you've got a valid argument. But you seem to have an issue with trying to understand my argument. It's very simple. I'm saying, if what I'm saying is true, and the Quran literally says that this is where the sun sets, that is enough basis to then say the Quran is not from God. And you would have but to agree. Say that. That's what we're debating, but I'm saying... No, because the Quran doesn't yeah, but say listen, that. But listen to what oh I'm saying. I'm, that's your argument. I'm saying, listen to what I'm saying. I'm saying if... If my with argument the, with, the, with the same verse, with the same words. Yeah, I'm saying if my interpretation was correct. Uh, you, yeah, it, which which it include the word wajda as I said to you. Listen to what I'm saying. You're we, we're laying out the premise of our arguments. We're not saying whether it's true or not at the moment. Yeah. I'm saying you have your argument, yeah. and I have my argument. Yeah. I'm saying if what I in the hypothetically speaking, if what I was saying was true, and this is what the Quran did actually mean. Yeah. That wouldn't then mean we can reject the Quran. If what you're saying is I, true, yeah, I will reject the Quran. Yes, that's all I'm saying. Okay. That's but, all I'm praying. I'm, that, now yeah, we're debating. It doesn't, where, mean your, it doesn't mean your interpretation is right. That's not what I'm saying. Specifically, yes. you just yes. say everything. Yes. Right. Okay. That's what I'm. That's yeah. what I'm just trying to lay out the, yeah. the, Sorry, the yeah. premise. Yeah. That's all I was saying. Yeah, yeah, that's fine. So that's I'm why. I believe it. Yeah, but that's. The, but the Quran doesn't say that. Yeah, but all I'm saying is that's why it's a, a sufficient yeah. argument to then look at whether the meaning of this verse because we can then say yeah that's yeah, all but, my point but the, was but does the Quran say that? Does it say that? well again like I said I presented information and I've not used my interpretation I've used scholars I've appealed to a hadith there's a lot of things when it comes with the first companion yes they can be wrong about it yeah and I I disagree with the meaning mm. but I understand this they all will have the interpretation mm. within the knowledge, the tradition, the way they live yes. and everything. So this is the it thing. The so this is the question I have. How do you then get the, the correct understanding of the Quran? About, about the Quran. Yeah. Everything together. What does that mean? The, the Quran itself. Okay. Because the Quran, that, that's, how you, how, that's how you study the Quran. If yeah. you understand, if you want to study, it's about study. You want to study the fasting. Okay. You bring all the verses from the Quran. Okay. And uh, you study it all together. So I'm just going to go time. point by point. Did Tabari study the Quran? Yeah, I think there's Tafsir. His yeah, Tafsir but, is about bringing yeah, other people's other interpretation into the book. Yeah, but I'm saying, did he study the Quran? Yeah. Okay. So what, give me your next point because you said there's many things. So I'm going to help see whether he fits your criteria. Yeah, so all the Quran, so every, the Quran itself, yeah. you, uh, people will study the Quran and the Sunnah. Okay, so did, you, did he would he have studied the Sunnah? I think so. Okay, ne next criteria. That's how, and then from the scholars. Well, he is a scholar. New and old. Okay. And there's new scholars right now, so you disagree with many things. So why and would I always, I always receive all the arguments and try to think what the, what the, what But the then where would the new the scholars get their information from? The new one? Yeah. From the old one. Okay, so then they would quote people like Tabari. So, what I'm basically trying to under yeah. ask you is, your criteria for perfect understanding of the Quran, why would you, because you gave a few points, which he meets, so then why is, the, why is it then his uh, understanding saying, doesn't, is not effective when it meets no, your criteria? There is no single understanding for the Quran. So that's why I ask you, how do you understand the Quran? I don't understand all of it. Yeah, but I'm saying it should be interpreted in a certain way. Because there's a one meaning. Not one way. Because if, if it has to be interpreted in one way, yeah. the Prophet would have done it himself with the whole, but he didn't. That's, that's a circular reasoning. No. But he would have done it. He that's died. why the Quran, but he could have interpreted it. No, yeah, but... If it's only one interpretation we have to follow it, we will stuck so, at one So why time. do you have hadiths? I will have to live. I will have to live. Right. The same way as he lived. So why, what, are, live. what are the hadiths? They basically explain the Quran. Most of the... Most of the or they're related to verses in the Quran. But a, a lot of... Very little. Very little. 
You understand? What I'm trying to say is that the religion is all about belief mm. and then what how you live. The way how we live, okay. that changes within Okay. With, with time. Alright. And then you then the more the, when the time mm. pass, there is more input into right. the equation that we have to consider, then we conclude different. But then isn't it isn't it a so matter of I'm talking about the fiqh, the fiqh? Fiqh, fiqh yeah. changes yeah. with the time. But then isn't but it belief itself yeah, but, and the sha'a'il doesn't change. But then isn't it true that Ibn Abbas had no an understanding like no other of the Quran? Do you say so? So are you saying now scholars now have a better understanding than him? Even though your prophet prayed to Allah to give him the ultimate knowledge of the Quran. Yeah. So why, why did he pray to Allah to give Ibn Abbas the... There's, there's, there's a belief, mm -hmm. aqidah. That's from what I understand. And there's Sha'ir, and there's Al. Uh, yeah, it's like and the fiqh. So the belief doesn't doesn't change with with the time. Yeah. Sha'ir doesn't change with time. So these things are fundamental. There's no argument about it. Mm. And even now, no one can debate or defeat whatever they say earlier. Yeah, but my the question was understanding. Thing, that's a okay. thing. Then, then the third part is mm. the fiqh. What fiqh is, you just try to, bring, you try to study subject, mm. you bring all the information from different mm. strings, and try to conclude your own understanding. Mm. And that changes with, with time, because with time, there's more inputs, more information, more knowledge, then you, your conclusion will be different. That's why it's different. That, so I don't have to follow the same way they lived, mm. the way they eat, the way they marry. Them. You understand? Mm -hmm. I don't have to follow all of that. Mm -hmm. So I have to follow them in Aqidah mm -hmm. and Sha'a'il. That's it. Mm -hmm. but, but, then, but that's not going to my point in terms of the Quran was revealed to a people who had. They didn't follow everything I'm doing now, I said. About what? They had their opinion about it. I read it, I don't know. But okay. they didn't. I'm sorry, they didn't follow everything in that passage, mm -hmm. despite what you said about the Prophet said to him. Mm -hmm. So, that's to prove my point. It's all about his understanding. It doesn't mean it's not essential for my belief. At the end, at the end of time, it's his it, 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 it understanding. Mm -hmm. Even his companions, people yeah. who live with him at the time, mm -hmm. they have different opinions. Yeah. And but this is the problem with what you're saying. Why? Because even when we go to, to Bari, his argument is not what people use their logic, but the interpretation of the word. What does the word mean? So their discussion. So, so even if yeah, but this is the thing. As a city, yeah, but this, yeah, but let me finish my point. Yeah, but let me yeah, but let me finish my point. He's not arguing that people are using their logic to understand the meaning, because they've never seen the sun set or where it goes. He's saying what is the meaning of the word? Because they say a spring. Or is it a black yeah, mud? So, yeah, but trying to understand. yeah, but let me just finish my point. Yeah. Because linguistically, they've they've never seen the sunset in anything. Yeah. So they're looking at the words and saying, what does the words mean? So that's why again it goes to the point of when they never discuss, it's from his perception because they're analysing the words word by word what exactly. it means. So therefore, they're not saying, well, this is what it must be based on science or what we know at the time. It's this is what it means by, by the interpretation of the words itself. Exactly. So therefore, when they never come up with the point, the third argument that, that it's from his perception, because that's very easy to understand that Ali is just talking about what he perceived, they're all arguing about where it literally sets. Yeah, well, linguistically, that's yes. what they said. But if you don't have the knowledge of what we have now, and you hear the Quran, right. you will conclude the same thing. So you basically, what you're you saying is, there right. is a place that was the sun Right. Source. So they, your, their argument, therefore, so you were wrong. therefore, your argument is you were wrong. The, the understanding of the uh, Quran changes when science contradicts the Quran. Say that again. You're saying the understanding of the Quran changes when science contradicts the Quran, because you're saying what we know now, because we know science has told us this something. Is, has, like two faces, because. They say it, so when it comes to talk, when it comes to talk about the universe, mm -hmm. things beyond our knowledge, mm -hmm. which is a lot of things. 
Where the sun sets. Is... People interpret it at the time. Yeah. With the all, with the all knowledge. Right. And then the science come right. with the facts. Right. Once so therefore, the Quran based is based on the science. So because no, you're you're no, saying when science our interpretation. Right. And certain points. Right. It depends on the science. Okay. To prove the Quran is right, but it doesn't add or take of the belief anything. Which I'm trying to say. So the, the the foundation of the religion is very strong. We're just talking about the decoration. But I'm, I'm trying to yeah to but, make the point. Yeah, but the, the, the foundation is very strong. It's at the face. And then there's another things. We understand it this way now, but maybe a hundred times we understand it differently. But are they are we better Muslim than them? That's not are what I'm talking about. Than us? Yeah, but so that's not my question. Allow, are we not allowed to follow them? Yeah, but that's, that's not that's, to that's not that. the, that's not my my argument. My argument is if these are the the best militants, they in, all, in even if practicing. it's in the practice no, 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 no. No, and in, inter in practicing way, Islam because because what people will say. Do you know classical Arabic, for example? You said, when I asked you, who did the modern scholars uh, appeal to when they interpret something? You say the scholars of the past. Why? Because the scholars, whether it's Ibn Kafir, Ibn Taymiyyah, they all then re reference for authenticity what people said in the past. Okay. So therefore, the people in the past, because they were closer to the Prophet, the argument, the, the understanding is they, those people would know more about the understanding, what words meant at the time. Was meant at the their time. Yes. Yeah, it doesn't have anything to do with me now. It doesn't affect me to practice my Islam. Again. It doesn't mean I'm better Muslim than them because no. I know yes. that now that, 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 yes. that the sun doesn't set in somewhere or just we all put around the sun. Yes, it, 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 it doesn't mean I'm better Muslim. It demonstrates Muslim. the point that there was no point of Allah sending the Quran as a linguistic miracle in Arabic because the people who you send it to couldn't even fully understand it and the people who live late wait so, let me so just finish my point let me just finish my point you're trying to make okay. let me finish my point the people who come later on don't speak classical arabic so there will be a lot of meaning of certain phrases like if when i said to you killing two birds in one st with one stone in 2000 years people may not understand what that meant they would have to reference what me and you spoke about because we're close to the time so we understand yeah so we're trying that the Quran should be linguistic a miracle yes which is happened in well, the reality, people, well clearly the people didn't understand what they were no, reading no, no. in reality that's what happened anyway. it, it, it just, it, 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 we can't argue with that because Arab themselves mm -hmm. they admit such a thing and they all converted to Islam well that's another conversation we, we can go, go another yeah, but time this is reality it's a we, fact we, so we can, can't argue with something like we, 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 can, really see, we, really we, happen. we can go into that another time but we're going to have to yeah, conclude this conversation fine. anyway but it's a pleasure speaking with you what's, Excellent. what's your name Mahmoud. Mahmoud are you here every week uh, I'll try. Okay, if you're here next, if I yeah, if we see uh, people call me Paper Boy, Paper Boy. That's yeah, what, yeah that's, that's my nickname. Like but um, yeah, if we if you're here again, we'll have another discussion. That's if we right, bump into each other, no all right, take care. Right, Paper Boy, what happened there? Paper Boy, wake up, Paper Boy. Yeah, just to conclude, what we see yeah. is I presented the argument, which he agreed with, is that if the Quran says that the sun sets in a, a murky pool. Yes. It cannot be from God. So what we see yeah. is a lot of uh, circular reasoning and cognitive dissonance. Because that's why I say I'm not even relying on my own argument. Yeah. I'm looking at in the first 300 years of um, Islam, yeah. what was the discussions around this verse? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they all say yeah. that the meaning is literal, that the sun literally sets in a, a murky pool of water. Even if we go to Tabari, yeah, yeah, yeah. he gives two different opinions. Never do we see the third opinion of that it was his perception. So what we see is that after 300 years, science started to contradict what the understanding was. So therefore, this is the interpretation that modern Muslims take, the reinterpretation of the Quran. But clearly, if a God says this, this is clear evidence. And to any independent, logically minded person, they would understand that the Quran isn't from God. That's why I can even bring evidence. All their arguments relied on conjecture and disregarding the person. Oh, their, their narrations weren't authentic. Oh, this person doesn't know what it. They never gave any evidence themselves apart from their own opinion. And I'm the only one who came with evidence. So on that note, people can decide for themselves who presented the stronger argument and whether the Quran actually says the sun sets in a murky pool, because that even goes with the Hadith.
I think mean, few Muslims find that this is the case that the sun sets up in the Mali. It's so time to leave Islam and accept Jesus Christ. Hey, as hey, the Lord hey, hey, hey. Okay, come on!